right guys, today we're going to be putting running boards on a 2018 Ram 3500. All right guys, this is how it gets delivered to your house. Um, I got these at uh, runningboardwarehouse.com. Uh, Just open everything up and see what we have. Make sure you uh, you're aware that there is a driver side and a passenger side. Uh, so mark it on maybe the bottom side here, what I did here, just with a little marker, I put P for passenger side, and on this one here, on the bottom I just put a little D here for uh, driver's side. Alright, so take everything out of the box, and you're going to see you're going to have all your brackets. Now they're going to be stamped right on the brackets, this says DF, D, R, and D. So that means driver's front, driver's rear, and driver's side. And the same thing here, you got the passenger front, you have here your uh, passenger rear, and this side here it's stamped P for passenger side. And if you look on the instructions, it'll tell you exactly where to put them. Here you have all your bolts, and uh, more bolts and, and little things, uh, a little fishing line to fish your uh, bolts through. And uh, so let's get started. All right, guys, we are underneath the truck, the driver's side near the front tire. This would be the front tire right here. Here's the bracket. This slot would go here. This hole here would go underneath this piece of tape here. We got another slot right there. And that would go here like this. But we run into a little problem, which is not a big deal. This bolt here holding the uh, fender, uh, this one only, not this one, but this one only, I'm going to have to cut it because it's the bracket here, the base of the bracket is hitting right here. That's going to go on there like that, and it's hitting. It's hitting right there. All right, so I took the bolt out, cut it with a hacksaw, and then uh, deburred it and then threaded it back in. So now it's not sticking out anymore. So now we are good. All right, guys, the first thing we need to do is we need to install this bolt behind the inside the frame, and it's going to go something like this. Now the only way to do that is what they do is they give you this here. Anyways, it's it's a wire where it looks like a spring on it and you just thread it on, okay? And what this is supposed to do is you're supposed to be able to fish this through there. There we are, right here, you see it? this off all right just so we don't lose this because I don't feel like losing this back behind there I'm gonna put a pair of vice grips on there and then we'll take off this uh, wire okay this will thread off carefully yeah just don't tighten this all the way down to where the bottom of the bolt bottoms out. You don't want to bottom this fishing wire on the bolt because it's kind of a pain in the butt to take off, but it will come off. Uh, 
All right. Now you want to get this plastic and kind of thread that on there. I'll take these off. And just put those on. Okay, that's just to keep it from falling back in there. That's, you do not want that to happen. Next one we want to do is put this one in. Now it's got to fit in there like that. So we're going to put that in there. And we'll put this on here. We'll put this on just to keep it falling back in there. And then the same thing here. Plastic on. All right, so now we know it's not gonna fall back in there. And then when it's time to put the bracket on, you just gotta line that up, the nut with the um, hole there. Okay, now we wanna put the bracket on. washer lock washer and we'll put a nut on there okay Now we just got to tighten this one up and this one up. All right, now we're ready to tighten these up. All right, so we got this bolted down nice and tight. Next thing we have to do is unloosen or take this bolt off and we have to put this bracket or support there to hold this. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is take that off, put the bracket on, put the bolt back in and tighten it up. Alright, so when you're ready to tighten this down, make sure the hole here lines up. Alright. Alright. Alright, now we're at the rear driver's side. And this bracket is going to go right here like this. So what we need to do is put in this like that 
and we need to put this on just so it doesn't fall back in there. Good idea to, if you can do it, there. Now, I'm going to put the washer on, lock washer and the nut. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave these loose because the bar is going to connect right down here. Okay, and I may, I may need to slide this forward and backward um, to make that bar fit right. Alright guys, what we're going to do next here is we got to put the bolt through here like this and that bolt it's going to go right in here. And it's going to be the same for the rear here. Okay. Once you put those big bolts in, now we can tighten it to the frame and tighten the rest of the bolts down. Alright guys, I just got done with the installation. Both sides are identical as far as installing it. Um, this running board here cost me $122 and free shipping. Very cool. Um, it won't break your wallet. Um, running board warehouse, they have um, just a huge selection of uh, running boards uh, anything that they probably have what you're looking for uh, great customer service I had a problem with my address I had accidentally uh, put in a different address I paid through PayPal and when I paid I realized the address was not right so I contacted them through uh, their through their website immediately immediately got the response the next day uh, they corrected it and had no problems um, so I guess there's one thing left to do. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh man, that was much easier. Oh yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> all right, it looks like I am all set here. Um, 122 bucks, it's free shipping. Uh, they look good on this truck. Check out their website, running board, uh, what did I say, running board, uh, warehouse .com. They got a huge selection of running boards and uh, they got good customer service and I would highly recommend them. All right guys, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.